Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Mully video guide. Uh, today we're going to be doing it on Mundo in the Jungle, as requested by the awesome people on the DoubleBuff.net forums. Uh, the first choice for a jungle guide was Shin, but um, he was unavailable because he's always banned. So we went with the second choice, which is Mundo. Come to Mundo! Alright, so uh, first and foremost, as I say in most of my videos, this skin. If you have some of the older Mundo skins, those are cool, but as for all the recent skins you can buy at the moment, this is the only good one, and it's fairly new. So you should get it, because it's awesome. Alright, so for Mundo, I like to start uh, Boots 3 Pots, because it's kind of risky if you don't have a good leash, but the movement speed on Mundo is really good for early ganks. Um, I also, uh, pretty much everyone starts W on Mundo. It just increases uh, clear times and enables you to gank quicker because you're clearing the jungles fast. It's also very good for counter jungling because of the clear speed. Um, for runes, I like to run uh, movement speed quince because it's always nice to run faster as Mundo. Some people like to run armor quince or you know certain other things, but movement speed is just what I prefer. I run attack speed reds, just like you do on most junglers. And I run armor yellows and magic resist per level blues. Uh, for masteries, I just take uh, 9, 21, 0. Um, the offensive attack speed masteries in the offensive tree, and then the standard defensive jungle uh, in the defense tree. Uh, I, I've jungled Mundo quite a lot. Uh, I, I'm kind of a fan of it, but I'm also kind of not. Because you just do so much damage to yourself, and it's really, really annoying. Like, you'll be like level 10 fighting your red buff, and you'll get to a point where um, you're doing like 600 damage to yourself, and it's kind of weird to me. But, he's really, he's really good late game. His early game is kind of rough, just because of how much damage you actually do to yourself. But once you have items in late game, you're literally unstoppable. Alright, so I guess we can talk about his skills. Um, his W, which I level first, just is this fireball going around me. It's uh, It just does AoE damage and costs health. No mana. He's not a mana based champion. Uh, e is what I get next. It increases attack damage by 40 for 5 seconds. And he gains an additional da damage for each percent of health he's missing. Um, it makes it to where you can build pure tank as Mundo. And, uh, and still do lots and lots of damage. This is what I'm talking about about that early damage to yourself. It's really, really weird. Really weird. So since I didn't get a good leash at blue, I'm not going to be able to do that red buff. Well, I might be able to. Let's see. It's gonna be cutting it close. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to do it. Okay. Yeah, he does quite a bit of damage. You just you do so much damage to yourself early. If you start boots and don't get a good leash, you can potentially kill yourself, and it's it's not it's not fun with Mundo. <clears throat> so I guess uh, I suggest starting cloth five unless you're sure your team is going to give you a good leash. Because if not, it's it's kind of rough to deal with. All right, so uh, with Mundo, uh, I don't like to get Wriggles because his clear time is already super fast, so you don't need anything to increase it. I like to get the Heart of Gold first because uh, Gold per five item early is always really nice, and Mundo benefits greatly from health. So that's pretty much the first time you want to get is your Heart of Gold. You can get Boots first or something like that, but Heart of Gold is really is really my preference on the way to go. I don't get uh, your Q is a. Uh, is your cleaver is basically a, a castable skill shot that slows enemies when it hits them and it does damage based on their health as well. Uh, I don't get it to level 4 but it's uh, it's basically Mundo's form of CC so to use when you gank. Uh, for summoner spells Mundo is kind of different than uh, other junglers because you grab exhaust and uh, the reason for this is because he doesn't have any hard castable CC all he has is his skill shot slow with his cleaver so it's nice to have exhaust to um, to get in there and get that CC down. Because Mundo, you don't really gank a lot as Mundo, he's more of a farming jungler because he's so weak early game. You just want to get him to that late game. So we're going to come in here on this Katarina. Alright, Scion could have stunned her when he realized we were coming in, but he didn't do it. So that's not a big deal. 
he's countering that lane, so it's not a huge deal if we don't gank there or not. So you probably won't see me ganking a lot, but as I said before, Mundo's a, he's a farm jungler because he's really only effective once he gets a good bit of items. As you can see, I'm taking no damage from the jungle, but I'm taking lots of damage just from using my abilities, which is what makes him a low ganking jungler. So now is when I would look to gank, because I've cleared all the important camps, but both lanes are too pushed to gank, so I'm just going to continue to farm. Once Mundo gets a bit of health and he gets his ultimate, which basically increases your movement speed and regenerates 40% of your maximum health over 12 seconds, as you can see right there. Uh, it's really good because it's a really short cooldown later in the game, and it just enables you to do all this damage to yourself and then just regain it back really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and go back and get our Heart of Gold, because the better you get your, the earlier you get your gold for 5 items, the better. So now that we have this, we're just probably going to look to get some boots by award for our team. Looks like our Jarvan's having a rough time top, so we'll try and go there once we uh, get the chance. Um, as far as maxing skills, I like to max W first, again, just because of the uh, clear speed and your ability to counter jungle quickly because of it. Mundo's a very strong counter jungler because of the reason, because of that reason. So our blue is going to be coming up soon. So we're going to give that to Scion. And I was going to look to gank top afterwards, but Jarvan died, so we'll just have to... If Jack stays pushed, I'm going to run up there real quick and kill him. But if not, then we'll just have to keep farming. Yeah, so it looks like Jax went back. So we're just gonna give this to Sion. Alright, so this is a good place for uh, mid players to war, but usually they don't, so we're just gonna do it for them. Alright, so we were able to get her. She just got really greedy and went in on, on us for no reason. It's really random. Alright, so here's the good thing about Mundo, is you don't have to go back when you get low health, because you can just put your ult on and get health back. Kinda nice. Later in the game it heals for a lot more and um, has much shorter cooldown. So Diana's in our jungle, she's probably gonna take our red, we really can't fight her right now. So we're just gonna continue to farm. Since they have an AP jungler and an AP mid, and Jax does a lot of magic damage as well, I'm gonna get Merc Treads this game. That's kinda that, that's how you wanna decide which boots to get as a jungler. Um, Normally as a laner you base off your lane partner or your lane uh, opponent, but as a jungler you want to base it off the uh, highest amount of damage they have on their team. So we can definitely look to go in and... Alright, good. So I was glad Fiddle didn't take that kill. I was thinking he was going to, but he didn't, which is really good since he's support. I'm going to go ahead and smite early just because I killed the jungler and I'm not worried about it getting stolen by anyone. Alright, so we've got our ult back up and we're just going to use that to heal so we can keep farming. Um, after I max W, uh, I like to max E. Alright, Sion should be able to get that kill. Nope. Wow. 
That's pretty. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, I, that was a little sloppy on my part. I probably could have just kept chasing her, but I really didn't expect her to turn on me. It's just weird playing against Katarina's that way. All right, so we're gonna get the Merc Treads. Um, now there's two choices you can go here for Mundo as your first item. You can either start building more health, or you can do what some people like to do and build Spirit Visage. Uh, it does give you a lot of health, but it also gives you cooldown reduction, which helps with your ultimate. Um, but what it does is it makes your ult heal you more when you use it. So a lot of people like to get that as the first like core item on Mundo. So I'm gonna do that this game because it's kind of looking like a farming type of game. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna farm and get our spirit visage first. Uh, it looks like Scion's going in on Diana right here, so we're gonna try and help him if we can. It looks like she backed off, so we're just gonna take our raids. So Mundo does a lot of damage when he ganks, as you can see. Uh, just because his W does so much damage, and when you uh, use your E, your attack damage just goes off the charts. So it looks like we'll be able to make something good out of this. Sion should get that kill, and then we can go in on these guys over here. Alright, my exhaust enabled me to get that kill because it stopped her from doing damage. That was a really nice pickup for us. I really need to help out top some more. I've been kind of neglecting top. It's just like the plays have been in mid and bottom and not really top. So I was going to wait for my ultimate to come up and then go up the top. It's really hard to gank a Jax, that's another reason why I haven't been kind of neglecting top. So let's see, how we're doing in farm? We're beating Diana by like 20 farms, so we're... Th this is Mundo's real strength, is just being able to out-farm like this. Jax is there on the mini map. Possibly be up, but it's not. Okay. We're just gonna do a little bit of counter jungling here since we're ahead. Looks like she was just here, so maybe we can move to go in behind Katarina. Nope. Goes worth a shot. Guess we can give Scion blue now. And then uh, we could probably look to gang top. I actually I'm gonna go ahead and go top. Mini killing spree. Come to Mundo. Mundo Shut down. Alright. So uh, our ultimate uh, let us uh, move in really fast on him, which uh, enabled us to continually hurt him with our W to pick up that kill. So that worked out really well. That's another one of the strengths of Mundo is how fast he is. That's also why I run movement speed points. Alright, we can definitely kill her right now. Alright, so we got her and she got us. Um, like I said, that's just one of the things that bugs me about Mundo is how much damage he does to himself, because we we probably did more damage to ourselves than she did to us right there, but that's just kind of how it works sometimes. Alright, so now we're going to look to get Warmogs. Uh, Warmogs is kind of a dead item ever since the nerf to Atmos, but because Mundo benefits so well from health and health regen, it's a really good item on him. So we're going to go for it. We don't have enough for Giant's Belt, which really sucks. So, 
We're just gonna get health crystal and uh, get giant spell next. <clears throat> Normally you don't get this fed as Mundo, but I'm getting lots of kills. Um, so our late game is gonna start much sooner than normal. So if you're kind of when you play Mundo in your future games, um, if you get kind of behind. We're not behind, but not as far ahead as I am now. That's why. Because normally it doesn't work this way. He does a lot of damage, but it's it's kind of hard to gank with him. Dragon, but I guess not. It looks like they might because Jax is moving down to do Dragon. So we'll just have to see what happens. I know it's warded, I just don't want to want to get a free Dragon. So I'm gonna try and lane gank since the lane is pushed. So I haven't given bottom any love. We can probably turn this. Alright, so my team kind of backed off there, which I didn't expect, and a lot of damage went out on me, so... Now we have enough for a giant spell. They better get that kill. That would be really unfortunate if they didn't. Oh, nice. Good boomerang. So they just, they output a lot more damage than I expected. Uh, but I, I pretty I did what I was supposed to do there, I just, I tanked the damage. I use my ult to try and regen, but uh, they just they focus me. And so that's what happens. But I did get a kill out of it, and we are doing pretty good on getting our items early. So eventually, we won't even take damage. Come to Mudo. <laughs> I don't think I can make it down to my bot lane in enough time to help, so they're just gonna have to come. Alright, Fiddle did a good job defending there. Jared cat away. Awesome Jax. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill him. Oh, never mind. We got a lot of damage out from Scion. So now we can push this tower because we're up in, uh, in numbers. Team doesn't need to be greedy though. They just need to accept that we got that victory in the tower. And we can try and do Dragon as well. I don't believe they got it, but we can check it anyway. Oh, good job, Scion. It's going pretty deep. Scion's really tanky though, so. It's gonna be kind of hard for us to solo this because we do so much damage to ourselves, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. We have a lot of yeah, see, my team got greedy and kind of went too hard there, but that's just what happens sometimes. So we got Dragon, which is good. Um, we're pretty far ahead as far as uh, I don't know about the team, but just ourselves, we're, we're pretty far ahead right now. So we're about 200 gold from our warmogs. Looks like mid's about to be pushed. We're gonna go cover that because I believe Sion's gonna get his own blue right now. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go cover that mid creep so that entire wave isn't a waste.
So we're gonna keep holding mid, but I'm gonna clear these raids real fast, just cause I'm window and I can do that. Out pretty good. We're doing a lot of damage for ourselves, but oh, I missed that cleaver. That was really bad. All right, so that turned out excellent. Uh, see, Mundo gets to the point where he's so tanky. It, it, they either don't focus you at all, like it just happened there, or even if they do, you that you don't take any damage. And we just used our ult, and it's already 20 seconds from being down. So, all right, he, he's gonna get out of there safe. We should be able to take this tower. As soon as my ult's back up, I'll get 40% of this ult back. Oh, for Christ's sake. Shut down. I wish Fiddle wouldn't have taken that kill, but it's okay. Alright, so we can definitely get our Warmongs now. Hopefully no one comes out of the shadows and kills us. But yeah, it's time for the Warmongs. Normally I'll get some armor here, but I think their AP kind of outweighs their AD, so we're going to go ahead and go for our Force of Nature. And since we're so far ahead, we're, we can go ahead and grab an Oracles. Sometimes it's better to grab a, an earlier Oracles, but this game was just kind of funky, and the lanes were, it was really volatile, and there was lots of kills going on everywhere. But there's already been 40, 30 kills in the game, and it's only 22 minutes in, so that's more than a kill per minute. So that's why I never picked up an earlier Oracles. Okay, now we're gonna go for Force of Nature. And then after that we'll go towards some armor by getting Randuins. Changing our Heart of Gold into a Randuins. An enemy has been slain. So as you can see this is my problem with Mundo. It's None of this damage is coming from the red buff. I'm doing all this to myself, and that's just... It's really weird to me. Like, he's a really, he's really good champion, obviously, as you can see by my stats. But that, that just kind of... It just rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. It's just kind of annoying to deal with. I guess his ult makes up for it, though. I guess that's, like, the whole balance of the champion. His, his ult heals him so much, but it costs him much health to use your abilities. So now is a good time for us to farm. Because we're uh, farming up our warmongs, get more health every time we kill some. And it's never a bad thing for Mundo to have more health. Because the more health you have, the less your bar goes down when you use an ability. And that's the goal. They're focusing my teammates instead of me, and that's just enabling me to run around and get all the kills. So Jan's able to get away just because Jan's really fast. But yeah, see, you, you get to the point with Mundo where you're so tanky, they either, like I said, don't focus you, or even when they do, they can't do enough damage to kill you because you're healed so much. So we're just kind of out of control now. We have so many kills. Oh, we should look to Baron. I haven't been able to type today, it's weird. Alright, so we have enough of Force of Nature, so we can go ahead and get that. Buying then Baron. 
sounds like a plan. Force of Nature also gives tons and tons and tons of uh, health regen, which is which is awesome. So now we can get Randuins, and then our final item after that. The final item on Mundo is kind of uh, it's kind of optional. Like you can really go anywhere with it. You could go to damage with like a Phantom Dancer or something like that to increase your crit and attack speed. Since you really don't need attack damage because your E gives you enough. But you get more attack speed to do more damage. You can go with like a guardian angel or something just to like troll people and say even if you can kill me I'm just gonna get back up and regen all the health anyway. Um, you can do a lot of things. So we'll just we'll just see what the situation calls for and we'll go from there. We're gonna be able to pick up this. Yep. Yep. Uh, we can look to do Baron now. Jax is dead, and he's the main source of their damage. And they also have two people bought. So yeah, we can we can just just sit here and do this pretty easily. And even if I get low because we're only three manning it, I can just ult and heal back up. So it's not a problem. Excuse me for the hiccup. I'm taking damage from Baron and myself and still healing faster than taking output damage. I forgot to smite there because I was too busy explaining things, but that's no problem. Mistakes are okay when you're this far ahead. It's the only time mistakes are okay, damn it. Alright, so we can just look to push mid. We can actually probably get Atmos as our last item, since we have almost 4k health. That would be kind of cool. I think I might do that. I think that's acceptable on Mundo. I think that's what we're going to do. Sounds fun. But as I said before, it's, it's pretty optional what you want to do. Because this is the core items on Mundo. That, that was fun, diving double turrets. Mundo goes where he pleases. We're probably just going to look to end the game here. Like I said, the next item would have been Randuin's to get uh, some armor, because we have a lot of magic to but not much armor. Uh, you would get it first in a, nor in a game where there was more AD, but for this game... Alright, the tower hurts. No. Alright, so we just kept diving towers there because it was kind of fun. <coughs> Ormog is almost fully farmed. So yeah, right now we we've we pretty much already won the game. We're just gonna figure out the best way to finish it from here. Yeah, like I said, uh, we'll finish our random wins and then the last item can be a GA or a, an Atmos is actually not bad since you have so much health as Mundo. It's still decently viable on him. <coughs> so their Corky is does almost no damage at all, and all their other damage is pretty much AP. So we have health and tons of magic just to counter the AP, and we just picked up our Warden's Mail for anything that Quirky can do to us, so we're in good shape. Yeah, that's one thing a lot of people don't know about League of Legends, is uh, health is also a great counter to, uh, to ability power champions. Not just magic resist. Health also does. Get the assist! Oh, we got the kill! That's a KS. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, see, as you can see, I have so much health now to where even when I use my W, you barely even see the bar go down. That, that's why health is so important on Honda. So you can just keep this up at all times. 
I pretty much regenerate more health than I use, so. So while they're over there slowly getting around, I'm just gonna win the game. Because <laughs> that's kinda funny to me. I'm gonna pop our ult just as we can. While we win the game. I wonder if I can win the game. Uh, can I do it? Nah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Took all five of them to kill me. See, in those situations, my team just didn't do what was what should have been done. We should have just sat there and killed the tower and killed the nexus. <laughs> So we've got randoms now, and I guess uh, Atmos. Does that sound? That sounds like fun. We'll do Atmos. I'm liking it. Or maybe, maybe Sunfire Cape. Hmm. Nah, let's do Atmos. This sounds like fun. I want to do some damage. And he gives armor as well. We probably, we'll probably end the game before I actually get to finish the item. But I think that'd be. I'll do insane amounts of damage. My E combined with Atmos. Yeah, that's gonna do a nice helping of damage. Come to Mundo. And we'll get some more health. <laughs> you never have too much health with Mundo. 4,411 health. That's Mundo for you. Mundo's the train. And no, it's not the dance from the early 90s. If any of you got that joke, we have the potential to be really good friends. So we're just gonna look to push and win here. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Well, maybe since Sivir is lollygagging. I wish I knew why. Alright, so now my team is just... we're just derping. Really hard. Oh well. This is what you should not do. Whenever you have a big advantage, don't don't waste it like we're doing here. It's That's really, really dumb. And not smart. Alright, so Baron just came up, so we're gonna look to go and do that. I'll spawn a little bit after my team, but I'll get there quick enough, because I'm Mundo. I'm so fast. Come to Mundo. Just gonna pot up again, assuming that we're about to win the game. Even though I've assumed that twice before and it didn't happen. So we'll see how it goes. Mundo will go where he pleases. So we should be able to do this Baron pretty fast. Jax is like trying to be a lone ranger or something. I don't know. No idea what that is. Alright, so we do 870 damage. So we want to watch Baron and see when it gets down to 870. My team just... I'm just being the big fat guy that stands here and takes damage. Go team! 
I am just the wall. That is all that I am. I am the wall. Alright, let's go be the wall and win the game. We can just leave burning, burning Agony on. Because we just regenerate more health than it takes away. So it's basically a free spell now. There we go. Alright, so that was a pretty successful window game. Um, like I said, the last item is pretty optional. Um, I, I was going for Atmos, but you could do a lot of other things. Um, overall, it's pretty good. Normally, you don't get that fed as Mundo, but it was nice. Um, thanks, thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to check out this video at www.doublebuff.net, and that's where uh, all my future videos will be going to. Uh, make sure you check out that website, check out the forums, register, you know, get involved with the community, all that good stuff. It's really cool there. Um, uh, any feedback, you can leave it in the forums on Double Buff. You can leave it in the comments of this video. Uh, you can do anything like that. Any questions about anything, I'll answer as many as I can. I try to be as involved as I can possibly be. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, remember to check back on, I think it's going to be Mondays and Fridays I'm going to be releasing these videos. So uh, thank you guys for watching again. And uh, see you next time.